It was great. Didn't have to wait too long. Veronica Brennan brought her grandmother, Chris Tarallo, at just the right time, barely a wait at the newly reopened Brooklyn Army Terminal in Sunset Park, which had been shut down for days because they ran out of vaccines. Other seniors across New York were still struggling with all the websites. Every time I went onto a website, there was no, no um, appointments available. And then you would run into somebody who said, oh, did you get your shot yet? I said, no, I can't get one. Oh, go on this site. Eventually, Diane Taubleib got the vaccine through Weill Cornell at the 168th Street Armory. And now Governor Cuomo has sent a letter to the CEO of Pfizer asking them to sell directly to New York State. The federal government is in control of the supply. They must increase the supply. More than 7 million New Yorkers are eligible for the vaccine, but only 350,000 doses were shipped this past week. A similar situation in New Jersey. 400,000 doses are needed, according to the New Jersey State Health Commissioner. But the state is receiving only a quarter of that right now. So the mayor of Kearney is saying those eligible should be proactive. Don't give up. Reach out for your local authorities. Reach out for your town hall, for your mayor's office, for your council person, and ask them for help and they will try to guide you. 85-year-old Phyllis Tobin was persistent. She had trouble booking an appointment online, but saw that her local shop right in Elizabeth had the vaccine. So she just showed up and got a COVID vaccine appointment for herself and her 96-year-old husband, Irv. And it was very supermarkety all around me. Uh, there was a slight screen. We feel so good that we've done it, but afraid about the second shot. Afraid about that second shot because she's worried that the doses will run out by the time her appointment for the second shot comes around. Now, the other new state-run hub is out on Long Island at Stony Brook. We are live in South Ozone Park, Queens. McGee Hickey, PIX11 News.